Those two guys, that's, that's family to me. Mm -hmm. um, Lil Wayne, that's my brother. Birdman, that's family. And at the end of the day, is it's not my business. And I do pray for greatness and, and, and everything work out. It's not my business. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, is um, those two people know who I am, and I don't get involved. You know, you know. I feel like people that um, you know comment. So it's not their business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, is um, you know, I pray for the best, and and and, and I pray for the best. Just for the culture alone, because they're so successful, and and I, those are mentors to me, and and people I look up to, and mm -hmm. and musically. So, um, shout out to Little Wayne, that's my brother right there. Birdman, shout out to Birdman, that's my brother. Those are family. You know what I'm saying? So I pray but for the best. If they divide the company like Kanye. He had to choose between Jay. It's, it's, it's not Jay. your own company. It's, yeah, it's, I, I'm we the best. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But that's what my that's I, I, I promote them every day. That's that's family. So you're not signed to them as an artist. No, I'm, I'm not signed to uh, Cash Money at all. Oh, you're mm -hmm. off for of cash money now. Uh, yeah, I've been off for a minute, and I, it's not that I'm I'm here to promote that I've been off. No, we're just I'm not, asking. No, I'm not that type of person. You're but still affiliated. You feel like that's but family. It's just not I, right. Lil Wayne and Burma, that's, that's that's family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that. Mm -hmm. The world know that. Yeah. Um, but um, no, nah, it's just we the best. Um, and um, nothing, nothing negative. Nothing. Everything is beautiful. I didn't know that. I thought you were still signing cash money, and that's why I thought the hold up on the album was. Nah, and there was never a hold up on the album. Um. This time, you know, I wanted to drop the album last year. The only reason why I didn't drop it last year, because I felt like, and I told y'all this last time, I felt like... Can I get in it? Can I get in it? Ugh. Oh, yeah. Back with another video, guy. Letting you know what's going on, man. And this is the top five reasons why Birdman's really going broke. Yeah, man. I mean, and, and to be real, bro, to be real with y'all, man, it shouldn't even be no surprise. You feel me? And like I said, I don't blame him. But the first reason is what y'all just seen on the screen. A $2.5 billion vehicle, bro. That's crazy. A $2.5 billion vehicle? And you just seen the interview when Cali said, you know, this was before they had the fallout. You see what I'm saying? And this is what money do, bro. It, it, it really mess your friendship up. If you not, you know what I'm saying, a solid, not saying Birdman not solid, but that money can, man, listen, corrupt your mind so bad, bro, that sometimes you don't know what you got going on. You don't know what you're doing. You feel me? Like, I'm just being real with you, bro. Like, that's crazy, man, what them folks go through with their money, man. Real talk. All that money gone, bro. Yeah. 2.5, bro, listen. So you telling me, well, not billion, but 2.5 million. $2.5 million work, a, a car? Just in a car, bro. You get what I'm saying? Just in a car. That's crazy to me, bro. And then, you know what I'm saying, Lil Wayne got one. I think, really, he got Lil Wayne that car. I could be wrong. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. But him and Wayne was the first one to get them $2.5 million work for Bugattis, man. That was, that's when I seen it. You feel me? Reason number two. You signed all of these artists. You had, you got Drake, you got Nicki, you had Tiger, you got uh, Twister, Lil Twist, you got, uh, you had that little singing dude. Bro, you had all of these folks on your label stealing from them. And how can I say that, you know what I'm saying, that you were stealing? Because it came out. You feel me? It came out, bro. You stealing their money, bro, like. All these songs, y'all got to think about it, bro. Out of all the songs that Nicki and Drake did. And guess what? He still own them. To this day, he still own them, bro. You feel me? Like So that's just a messed up situation, bro. You got all these, I ain't going to lie, cash money was killing shit back in the day. You get what I'm saying? Bro, couldn't nobody touch him, bro. Like, bro, listen, bro. Birdman was the man, bro. He still live kind of the man because... You know what I'm saying? He in the tabloids now about him going broke and you know what I'm saying? Situation like that. But bro, you got to sit there and think about it. You own some of the biggest artists in the world, not just in the United States, the world, bro. And you were screwing them over, stealing their money. And the only person that I think that never came out about the situation about Birdman stealing money from them is Nikki, bro. Nikki paperwork must have been right, bro. It must have been right. You get what I'm saying? Reason number three, you buying all this jewelry and jewelry don't mean nothing, bro. Even the jewelers will sit there and tell you the diamonds that they create. It don't is nowhere near 
the profitable that it should be with gold. Like you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't like get nothing from that. That's like buying a car off the lot. When you buy a car off the lot, you know what I'm saying? You lose value instantly. You get what I'm saying? And see, when you young and you coming from the hood and you never had nothing, what you going to do? You going to splurge. You going to show out. You going you gonna, to you gonna, you gonna get all the bad with me. You going to do all that. You get what I'm saying? So it just, and I, that's why I say I can't fault, you know what I'm saying, Birdman for the things that he has done, bro. But, bro, you you ran through all that money. That's crazy. A 2.5, like I said, a $2.5 million worth of car you driving, bro. Like you touch half of a million. And these folk trying to say you bankrupt, you going, you closing all your accounts, you losing all your homes. Bro, what's really going on? You feel what I'm saying? That's crazy to me, bro. And this and and this a and this a big one. Reason number four. And I don't care what nobody say. You know, I got to keep it real with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all rock with me. I rock with y'all. I got to keep it real with y'all. Reason number five, screwing over Lil Wayne. Yeah, man. Hey, man, if y'all if y'all don't understand, bro, when they say karma is a bitch, bro, it really is. <laughs> like, it really is. Like, it will come back and get you, man. 100%. You got to believe that, dog. It going to come back and get you. You know what I'm saying? How you... Now... You know, you used to say Wayne was your son. Wayne, that's my son. You still say Wayne your son, right? And I understand, you know what I'm saying, the outside people from looking in, they don't want to get in the situation. But when it go to the point where, you know what I'm saying, Wayne was getting shot at, bro, he was getting shot at. And they were saying you were behind it. They would check his cell phone. They had your phone number in there. Come on, bro. Y'all got to keep it real now. If y'all going to keep it real, let's keep it real now. That got to be reason number four. It really should be reason number five, but I'm going to go with, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with four. Because reason number five bigger than that. But, bro, you calling this man your, your granddaughter and all that. And y'all ain't need blood. I understand, you know what I'm saying, with the record and all that. And y'all did be in the group. So that made y'all like brothers or dead and son, father like son type shit, I guess. I don't know. But, bro, you got to really sit there and think, like, man, I'm I'm really tripping, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, your, and your older brother, Slim, he don't never be in the media. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, Slim, more of a tight, like, he laid back. He really don't say too much. I ain't finna get in the situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let it be what it be. And, you know, Bird going to do what he want to do. You feel me? At the end of the day, he going to do what he want to do. You get what I'm saying? And I understand that. But, bro, you got to sit there and say, man, golly, I don't, like I just said, you ran through a half of a million, bro. You shooting at your son. Well, they, allegedly, they said you, you know, you set it up. I ain't going to put that on nobody. But they said you set that up. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, come on, bro. You got to, man, listen, man. This money, when you get in this, when you get in the music industry, Bro, you got to watch all angles, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch all angles, bro. And you know it bad. You know it bad, bro, when he going to talk to... Not, and, and don't get me wrong. Uh, uh, Tony Braxton, bro, they wanted to find the black lady that ever walked the earth, bro. Real talk. Bird got her. Hey, man, I'm not saying the relationship fake, but what I'm saying is, hey, man, Tony got some money, bro. You get what I'm saying? She got some money, man. You feel what I'm saying? It, she got to. I know she still do. Simple as that. Reason number five. Bro, this a big one right here. Reason number five. How can I? How, I'm trying to see how I could put this so y'all can understand. I got to see how I could put this. Reason number five, you screwing over DJ Khaled. Now, y'all just seen, and this go back to karma, bro. Because the universe is set up a certain way that people don't understand. You get what I'm saying? It is set up a certain way that people don't understand. I understand. I get it. But y'all just seen in the interview at the beginning of the video how Callie said, I wish them boys the best of luck. I'm not going to get in between a situation. Callie rolled for you, bro. Kelly rolled for Birdman now. I'm going to be real. He rolled for him. 
So when people sit there and say Birdman got all this money and all that, people didn't even know DJ Khaled was signing the cash money. And Rick Ross said in a song, how it hurt him so bad that Khaled came and asked you for something and you ain't give him nothing, bro. You ain't give him shit. That's like, bro, that's like, you know what I'm saying? Your mom and your daddy raising you, bro. And you go to them for help and they can't give you nothing, bro. Bro, you know how bad and how hurt for that is, bro. That's the reason. These are the reasons why Birdman really ain't got that money no more, bro. You got to do people right, y'all. Real talk, you got to do people right to win, bro. That's 100%. That's the, that's the only way it's going to go. You feel me? That real talk. That is the reason why that money gone, bro. Hey, man, you do right, good things come to you, man. That's a true statement. And before y'all guys, you know, leave, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate y'all, man. I'm gone.